by training you can accept you may not agree with me by training you can add to the competence or the skill or the knowledge of any teacher but it is very difficult to change attitude attitude has essentially a cultural anchor it comes from the background background what kind of family what kind of state what kind of parentage you come from do's and don'ts of your real life is very difficult to change attitude unless you wait some for somewhere you provoke his self esteem swabhima and that also swabhima has to be an enlightened swabhima not slogan today in our way we are living we live in slogan stories vasudeva gunavigam this thing and that thing we never believe in it we don't know what it is but an enlightened swabhima is your heritage is the need of it and we have to appeal to individual students and the group of students how to go about this unless that is inculcated and the values are restored whatever we have the dream of the this century it cannot be that because only we are in the process of consumerism as you say around the world of the world it is going on very fast and and it cannot resist that momentum When you say that yeah, the moment you start your uh, regular uh, service period, you are having a debt of so many thirty years. Hey, this is a fast food, fast track, everything fast. So we have to be reasonably uh, slow in imparting all these things which are there. The room to travel or go away can be a meltdown only. It can be bring a recession only. Huh? And you need consumerism. It is nothing but consumerism. And although India had the uh, tradition of uh, not so materialistic uh, way of life, somehow we have not been able to uh, bring it back in the family. Maybe nuclear family is, uh, is also responsible for this. If there had been a sort of a big uh, family, and there would have been mutual influences also. But in nuclear family, this is not happening. Uh, there is very little scope for what you intend to do in a classroom situation. You have to go beyond the classroom. It is not a formal education; it is some add-on things, and you have to add that in a formality of school. I think how to go about it is uh, there cannot be a crusade or a blue chart for that. Everybody can mark for it. But it is necessary, and I agree with you. Thank you very much for saying so many things in a capsule. Thank you. I was able to meet with you and discuss issues with you. Um, the kind of issues which you have raised, I think, are extremely important. Although, um, in the present context. it does become a little difficult for people to envisage the alternatives that you have been talking about um, as a, uh, as a professor of management uh, our concern has been more with the more immediate issues of both the economy and society but there no doubt that uh, in most countries today and particularly in uh, india we have come to realize that uh, there is something like the ethical aspects of uh, of business and uh, therefore the more we accept this view the better it will be for the country as well as for the society Uh, I think there are a few people who are moving in this direction of uh, reading, writing, researching on these issues. But my concern is only this: that, as Professor Shastri said, instead of preaching, can we practice? I think that is the uh, the crux of our basic problem. That. Uh, Whether we take the
they 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 people whom we should call uh, secularists. That is uh, those who do not talk about these issues and yet do some practices. And on the other hand, uh, those who talk about those things and as you rightly said that we have many more uh, preachers, <coughs> here, uh, saints and so on. So maybe the, the, the basic issue uh, would be uh, how do we uh, let our students appreciate the fact that it is better to take a practical point of view, take a more uh, balanced point of view, and in their own decision making when they graduate from our institutes, how do they look at the uh, spiritual and ethical dimensions of the kinds of problems that they come up with? Thank you very much. That in education, since uh, Professor Singh has talked about Islam and Sakshashena, we have been to an amount of farmers. I'm still surprised and educated that we have been um, putting more emphasis on vocational education. For the life of me, I have not understood why this emphasis is stress on vocational education. Because I believe in that process. We have been humanities, we have been languages, and I don't know whether the society can access without learning humanities, without the imbibed spirit of humanities. So I would like to know from you what can be done about this. And vocational education, of course, is necessary because every third person will be asking this question, what is my degree going for? My idea was that education was something we do this by confidence and people put him on the right road. And if he wants, if, if the companies want to train their personnel, it is their business. It is not my business the university to give vocational training. But everywhere I find there is a clamor for vocational That was one thing that I wanted to know from you, Professor Thomas. Mm -hmm. And secondly, since uh, Ambedkar is here, if I remember reading somewhere Ambedkar's notes, he had said that whenever there was a foreign invasion, people would immediately take care of their cattle, protect them, and permit the foreign invasion to pass through. What is that contradiction in our culture? That on the one hand, we permit the invader to pass through, looking after our own interest. We are talking of Asutya Kutum Kutum, we are talking of Tena Kyaktena Kutjitha, and yet we are so fond of our own cattle that we permit the invader. That's what America has said. So that was something which I don't understand. And thirdly, you said, sir, that India will break. What if it what if the country is breaking? Marketization meant that every European country would come up. It is not the political uh, unity that, that makes us one. I think it is the cultural unity which makes us one. Whether I am in a state of uh, Gujarat or I am in a country of Gujarat, if the culture remains the same, we are going to be the same. As you said, the business we might suffer. But then if there is organization, then probably, because India would never come to my mind, except maybe in the times of Vikramaditya, maybe in times of Shalyavan, uh, of Shak uh, dynasty, maybe in time of, uh, times of uh, Jamrikapta Mauryan, maybe Samudrakapta. It was only when the Britishers came that we became one, and the Sadaapattas made us one. Culturally, yes, we are one. But politically, I am afraid we have never won. So even if we break down, and if we can maintain the freedom of the culture, what is the harm in it? So, please enlighten me. Sir, so, um, 
while listening, I was just discussing uh, among the faculty members that we had the great privilege having the atmosphere, great aesthetic and uh, total meditative. In fact, we have been, in fact, personally, I have been dealing with bonds, interest rates, and uh, tenor and banking. So, never had this occasion or the opportunity of listening. So, these just words are coming. So, sometimes we get uh, to hear. I always take the opportunity, even for two minutes after I speak, you know, we uh, really get, enjoy this kind of thing. You know, so this experience we have had today. In fact, uh, the crisis which has come in uh, United States recently, you already described that, that people have borrowed so much beyond their means, giving the false security and other things. Uh, similarly, it also um, affecting in India also. Hardly there is any, uh, as far as corporates are concerned, corporate governance is totally missing. Though the SEBI has introduced this, but uh, hardly it is just on paper. And we find that a lot of manipulations in the profits and other things. So, here and here not again, you know, that people are gathering the wealth at the expense of the poorest. So, I'm sure that this philosophy which you have just now said uh, and Dr. Singh has said, uh, it will really improvise our society, but we should put it in practice. There is a great dire need to put it. Thank you, sir. Uh, Shastriji's question of preaching and practice. The managerial component, according to me, is as important as preaching. Management is the instrument, not the way we are taught teaching management on which I will be speaking to your students. Our concept of management is a group of people getting together, give an objective, how to get the target done by inspiring, directing, controlling, motivating. That's not the real management. Management is inherent in every activity, the breathing, eating, walking, sleeping, every activity mind, thought, word, deed, transaction, relationship is a management component. Management component is the one which will make practice possible. Management has got two parts. One is the traditional operatic amount, which is based on politics, economics, sociology, psychology, logic, law, anthropology, mathematics, statistics, industrial engineering, information technology, accounting, and things of this kind. They are often the upper area, on a materialistic point. There is this other dimension to management, which the paper I sent you. That consists of honesty, integrity, humility, austerity, etc. 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 Some of our some compassion, karuna, spirit, self. prayer, meditation, yoga, fasting, silence, belief in karma theory, belief in the law of order, law of association, philosophy, insights, illumination, inspiration, aesthetics, music, dance, art, Etc. If these are combined together, now combined, I am talking to Vora Sapsa. Now, there was a time when the India should remain as one of North one was not very important at that time. Nation state is a universal concept for 300 years. Before that, there was no nation. Now, when National concept has become necessary because of one, only big countries can survive, big countries can prosper. They are interdependent from country to country. So political power seek up become equally important to sustain cultural power. So culture, good old days can remain without this. Now culture cannot be weakened without political power or unity or science, commercial. The commercial era of Kalyugama, all relationships are commercial today. Therefore, this common system can destroy a culture. Coming back to you. If I were in an education institution, 
I give 50 marks for academic work, vocational work. Academic or vocational? 50 marks. Out of 50 marks, I will give for ethics, values, philosophy, etc. Why? We need total happiness. Our Indian concept has always been holistic concept. You should be happy at home, you should be happy with your mind, you should be happy with your body, etc. Everything has to be combined. If you keep pure vocation, then there is no happiness like IT companies. The IT company people go at 8 o'clock, come back at 8 o'clock. They have no family life, relationship broken down. And they become mad by 8 o'clock in the evening. They have no time for family. They have no time. Even my son and I in school and I I reach at 2 p.m. You see me only at 9 p.m. I reach at the airport. 7 hours I will reach. We wait at the airport for my son to pick me up. They don't consider family or life, or relationship, or other world, nothing is taken away. So this has to be combined. How we can do that? My view is education today is a five year, four year, three year, six years. Imagine an institution like the Adelaide University, which I went There are 2,000 courses. All courses of one unit is one. Unit is for one week. Horse riding is two weeks. Swimming is three weeks. You can take today and then come later. Philosophy is 100 units, which you can take from the age of 15 to the age of 60. And therefore, you become a continuous learner throughout your life. So, immediately, you have to get a job now as an engineer, and you have only four years to teach them. Unless you completely push the vocational component, you won't get a job. If you talk on Vedanta, you talk about ethics, you talk about all kinds of things. The job is important immediately. Suppose the system is such a sufficiently flexible, open, discontinuous, discontinuous. By which I finished my four years or three years. And I take it in a, say eight years space, not four years space. I take two, three courses this year, go for a job, pick up a job, come back, do some other course. Again go back. If you do like that, what happens? One, there is no rush to finish the vocation content. You can take your own pace, some are brilliant, some are not so brilliant, some are mediocre. In fact, I am partly responsible for prioritization. I told the minister, there is no mechanism to produce brilliant people in the world. Only one third are brilliant or good, other one third are mediocre and average. What do I do with the Buddha son? Who is not brilliant? Who cannot get on merit? Suppose he has no education system. He will be on the road. He will be a paragon. I would rather have him in a college or a school run by a liquor contractor having an indifferent education pattern. Filling it with money which you can't recover. Why do you object? Suppose my Buddha son goes to a Buddha college they are both to education. Why should the leaders of poor people shed corporate years, I ask you. Let him go sit somewhere. God knows he will improve. That's how Minister Ghi will allow the private sector to come. I said, not much damage can be done. The movies are doing more damage or good than the education. Influence is much more by the media. And therefore, you can do nothing. He will come back to you. What can you do when I Supposing you introduce a system that all the placement people who come to you, management is pressing. Sir, have a look at the academic chart, also look at the character <coughs> chart on the other side. Suppose you tell all the placement people that you students, you are going to get a job not only based on your economics and politics, Subjects which are teaching in general engineering, but your cooperation, your truthfulness, your integrity, your humility, your austerity, your abstract creativity, your reading habits, your cheerfulness, friendliness, etc., etc. Then it can be imprinted. Today, give me my degree. My own grandson said to IIT director, give me degree, I don't want learning. I get a job and I manage. But suppose he knows 
the imposes of DCS or the pro will not only look at the economic cost, but also look at the character of the new cap. To observe, practicing, not pushing too much, not posting, not dragging, not complaining, not nagging, not indifferent, respect for the teacher, respect for the class, quietitude in the class. That's a better way to part of the therapy. If that is done, that's what Marx is doing. What he did, every classroom he also put a error board. Did the teacher teach well? Did he observe the curve? Did he come prepared for the class? Did the students observe well? So I can go and write Shastriya's unruh, room to me. Or Shastriya's friendly to me. So everybody came to the blackboard and checked. Has anybody written anything about me? Which I have introduced. In my time I introduced all. I said all teachers, particularly in names, or it's only five problems. One, honesty, integrity, etc. Cooperation, team spirit, camaraderie, etc. Like that, I had five columns. And I told every teacher, you evaluate every other teacher. Every student you evaluate the teachers, not in the academic part, in the non-academic part. And therefore, I introduced such a system, whereby what is preached is practiced. Their preaching is of no value. So practice how can be brought about? First of all, the client should know, customers should know, the company should know that we equally value character. So that efficiency will go He will be much better, disciplined person. He will be more honest in his deeds. He will, be, he will also know why he should work hard like Vivekananda said. Work should become a joy. Work today is labor. Work is not. No more secrets of work, Vivekananda written. How can you derive joy from the world? So such of practice and preaching can be combined. If the system is open now, now what can you do now at the moment? The government won't agree, syllabus, four years, you have to come free. So I used to sit in the UPSC examination for IAS officer. What were you doing? I was preparing for IAS. So I told the chairman, I won't come anymore for your testing because this follows on by asking from the old examination papers and spitting it. What we want is practical experience. And therefore I said, don't have this kind of system. In IIM, nobody will be given admission if he says, I have been reading for your CAT test. It's useful. So in that sense, to provide to you, preaching and practice can be practicable, applied. Now what you can do, alumni association, can call a conference of all the companies who take your students after to give feedback for that problem. So they come for a short duration course. Add value on unity of the country. And after all, unity of this country, you should say, should we not be interested in a country's unity? You people be humiliated. Who cares for Panama? People care for India. And therefore the importance of market and raw materials apart. What is raw materials and market? Probably people are saying, a truth of Balthakre, that if Kerala says they are earning 25,000 for foreign exchange. And if you say, not of which is used in Kerala, everything is used by Bobby people. If you say that, I will also tell you, we are not allowing you to use a foreign exchange. If Balthakre says, UPA, Bihar people should not come, I don't, I wrote him saying, a hundred rupees deposit in Bihar or UPA. We come to a nationalized banks, back to Bombay for investment. So the money which you are having in Bombay or any other industrialized city like Bangalore or Madras come from, come from UP and Bihar. So everybody should know that we are dependent on the other. Such information will allow them to have a better performance. And though to answer your question, I agree, culture may go away as it is already gone away. There's a picture in America, families are ruling. There's no happiness. There's only pressure. And therefore, there's a need, there's a link. Good old days, culture was intact. It was protected. In spite of so many years of Muslim invasion and rule, our culture was not destroyed. But today is different. Kuspu gets a temple today. Actress Kuspu gets a temple today. Who is more popular, Sachi Tendulkar or Shastriji? Who is contributing to the country? And therefore, I would say, what we can do should be to make the system open 
having a UN system, transfer them, continuous education, and also give ethics and morals a great deal of emphasis in the classroom, and keep a certificate also with you. And in the case of management, CC, you know who is going to take your food. Baba, look at the report card also. In fact, if I were vice chancellor, like him, I put in the academic certificate, degree, BSc or whatever, below, please look at the character card also. Suppose you print it. The student will care. Today they showed you this. So, admissions and placement and job, if they are integrated this way, are they we can introduce practices. So why management is, if management is introduced, where is the proof? Take data. <coughs> they have introduced science. And therefore, data is a better organization in terms of culture and so on. So Other, there are many such organizations which I know. I remember Yagri, right here in Savalia, I wanted to pay 50 rupees to this post station master to get a wagon. Because I had to as a consultant make 30,000 rupees profit for it. Very much. So I gave 50 rupees happen. I mean, bribery. He said no. Sandeka said no. No rupees. And the practice is possible in practice. I can say, don't you think an IIT is more trusted than a university in America? Why is it possible? Why I am boys about such a prestige all over the world? Why IIT students, they don't admission wrong. So they have introduced certain system by which credibility has been established. So some persons I have seen, I remember Yama Day, you are coming from Hindustan Liva, we take They are confident that if you are in Hindustan Liva, you will have ABCD characteristics. Correct? And therefore, reputation has been introduced there. Both character and competence should go together. Don't you all want a good son in law or a brilliant son in law? Do you want a good doctor in law? But a brilliant doctor in law. So life should go according to me much more holistically and not pure vocation. How can we accomplish it? Wherever there is freedom, suppose autonomy comes, everybody can explain. If there is no autonomy, we can't explain. If the government calls, we can't explain. As I told you, the Adelaide, I was amazed at the idea. The 50 year old student sitting there, subject, psychology. A 50 year old man is coming and sitting there for one unit, one week, two weeks. And there are some courses which are given by the teacher at home. You want to learn some music? Go there. You want to understand the basic politics today? Go there. Therefore, system should be open, practical. Character should be introduced partner. Every faculty should affect every other faculty. There are 50 item strategies other than subjects for a teacher. A teacher has to go through placement, admission, evaluation, extracurricular activities, management of hospital, of chasing, classroom management, pedagogical skills, of 50 items other than the subject for a teacher. 50 items. If he is taught that, he is a better teacher. But suppose the teacher only knows mathematics or industrial engineering or accounting, then you would have respect at all. Therefore, I won't say that I know answers for everything. We could make a beginning about all. And management is easy to do it because of a very small subject. And as I mentioned to you, the additional dimension to manage, such as the 10 subjects which I told you, if they are combined together, I think there will be better managers. Except even eating, when you said Anna, in Indian concept, Anna Bhuvaneshwari said Devi. Nityananda Gari, Varavagari, Saumeri, Vyatnagari. What is the management component? Eat subject food, eat slowly, do pranayaswa, avanayaswa. Don't eat too much, eat half only. One half you are eating for yourself, other half to keep the doctors busy. And therefore, even there there is management. There is sleeping, there is management. Mating, there is management. Every aspect should be, to be component to bring about order, bring about some restraint in the area, etc. 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 et
Now movies. They do some prayers and put this there, etc. Somebody asked him, why are you doing this? I am telling Nevadharma, don't take me away. Let me complete my food. That is waste for them. So, Dr. Sati, it was the end of the session. I think uh, all of us would have had a good piece of thoughts. And uh, I'm thankful to Ram Shambhini in particular. But there are a few points of emphasis that I would like to uh, underline again. And uh, that included the main point that Shastriji underscored that practice is more important. Um, but not preaching. And I think this is something that becomes uh, one of our ethical course for them. If whatever I am supposed to do, if I keep doing it, that's first thing, and then go beyond. But the way I had mentioned uh, a very good point, and there he said that even difference between training and attitude, training can enhance competence, but it's the attitude that's more important. And uh, I think that's clear in case of teachers because uh, those who feel that they would have been better if they were police full, full constables or some inspectors, and if they become teachers, then such a person is going to do a lot of damage to at least 40 45 generations. Uh, Dr. Varma made a good uh, observation, and his observation was that practical side and what is preached or whatever is, is in the books of theories. He, his emphasis was on the balance that we must make balance and see to it that what is non negotiable is not negotiated. Uh, Dr. Bora had two, three questions, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, the questions might appear slightly disturbing, but they, they are the questions that may be in the minds of students. Regarding vocational education, earlier it was thought that the jobs are the, the concerns of economy or economists or the, 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 the setup, but uh, later on the kind of emphasis we have, uh, in that one feels that that, that the vocationalization is the only way, way out and that's the test of an institution or student, that the kind of placement that they get, not the kind of teaching that is there, the institutions advertise that highest person getting this much placement, this and this and that becomes a criteria in Bellingham. Our students should have food to eat, but they, they have something in their stomach, then they can think. But then ultimately the question is that the balance, how how do we achieve the balance between the two? And that's beautifully put that earlier the emphasis was of the university system, was towards liberal values, humanistic values. That shifted to that every degree holder should be a carpenter. But the ultimate question that comes up again is that everyone, every student that we make a carpenter, that carpenter should also be a good human being. That is also for the institutions to, to take care, particularly those, those of us who are in, in education. Regarding humanities, because uh, the point that he made, it's being ignored these days. But sir, there is a statement by Plakhanov, and Plakhanov says, so long as there is humanity, there will be stupidity. And so long there is stupidity, there will be need for literature. Primarily, the reason is that the, the, uh, the science and techn technological courses, they take care of the provisional aspect and the humanities and so and the allied branches, they take up the vision. That balance is also to be made therein. The question regarding balkanization sounds logical, but the only problem is that apart from the dangers that we, we would have against the culture, because that will not remain unaffected in the longer course of time. But the problem would be, like smaller states, would be more vulnerable to manipulation of manipulations of the the world parts. 
and then it would become perhaps more difficult for a vulnerable small state to fight against maybe Americanization or maybe against Talibanization. That is the danger otherwise there is a lot of logic in, in, in what you said. Anyway, the questions are there, the, the, the vision is before us. All of us have to, to think of above all what we can immediately do and in the larger interest also in the terms of culture, in terms of nation and ultimately in terms of humanities. I think uh, at the end of the session, personally, I go more English than the way I came. And uh, for this, <coughs> our credit should go to Shastriji and uh, the faculties of the Swamilal Institute that organized this occasion so well and Mr. Ramoswami for for leading the procession of thoughts for all of us, which would we would cherish, we would cherish this is this space, we would cherish your thoughts and uh, try to implement whatever has been said. I thank you all very much on behalf of the organizers and uh, I leave the last words for the last week. Sir. I also want to say a word before the site is there and give you a visiting card. Anybody writing to me, I will on political systems small states, electoral reforms, many such subjects, including how to kill an animal without paying even that aspect also. Now the first president of a computer society, and not a Bullockard man alone, <laughs> first president of a computer society. So I would like you to consider reading some of the things which I have said, not big things, small small things only. India should have smaller states. City state should, should become city states. There will be decentralization of development. We should have more number of districts. I think more private universities, education should come. Employment generation will be high if education, health, tourism takes a big shape. Maximum employment potential is feasible. I have also proposed de bureaucratization of various kinds. Not individuals. <laughs> this political system is focused. People have become bad. Why we can't produce a Nehru or a Patel now? How, why criminalization has come? Such issues are there which I have dealt with my books on political system. There are city states, small states, decentralization deep bureaucratization, parties should be voted to power, ethical dimension to education, <coughs> open systems. So in all these subjects I have made small small articles, not very big things. I also want to confess to you that I am not a scholar, I don't have a PhD, I don't have a master's degree. 